Hello, good evening, and you're very welcome to this uh, the Velox CHF Champions League Group B game between the host team from Northern Germany, SG Flensburg Handovit, and the Giants of Catalonia FC Barcelona. It's like grudge, grudge match, if I might say. Take you all the way back to the final four in May. Six goals down against the mighty Barcelona. Somehow, Flensburg managed to pull it out of the bag, take it to extra time, and then defeat Barcelona on penalties. Incredible when you think about it. A match that will live long in the memory. And the Barcelona team is just being presented to the crowd. 6,500 strong in the Flens Arena here tonight. On a very dark, damp night here in Northern Germany. Very, very cold. Remember, Flensburg just over the border from Denmark. And it's bitterly cold here today. But the atmosphere is red hot in the arena. And Flensburg will want to show that it was no flash in the pan that they beat Barcelona last season. So Tenka just being introduced to the crowd, and then Vidan Moros. Nikola Karabatic, number 33, just being brought on, and uh, to a chorus of boos from the crowd. And uh, one of the players they bought from uh, their North German rivals last season, Phil Jalous. Maybe he was the guy getting all the boos from the crowd. Uh, of course, uh, Gudjon Valor Sigurdsson joined Barcelona from Kiel their near neighbours as well during the summer. So an almost full strength Barcelona here today. The only player missing is uh, Saubic Mir on the right wing and Miralis who deputised for Victor Tomas while he had that broken hand is uh, is in the squad in his stead. So here we are Otherwise the it's as you might be the two referees today from Slovenia, Krišić no, no Lubic very very well respected referees and here to referee this top level game in the Velox EHF Champions League but the lights are on the tunnel is red their achter man the eighth man that's the crowd what they call the crowd here is in full voice and uh, they are ready for their heroes to be introduced from the tunnel away down below us to our right well I'll tell you they're playing the uh, they're playing the Flensburg uh, show reel at the moment with all the players up on the screen still, in the arena the and uh, still, I mean, the whole speaker, the whole announcer is really whipping them into into a frenzy here. We still haven't seen the Flensburg team come out onto the court and the Barcelona players, well, they're just uh, steadily getting ready, keeping themselves warm after being introduced to the crowd and having gone through their 30 minute warm-up ritual so that's a yes. and uh, so you three well wins, you have three wins in the bag i'm just wondering are we going to have to uh, introduce every single one of them again or is the entire team just going to run on at the same time back in your box can they do it well they know who johan jacobson is he's done uh, quite well for them in the league in the bundesliga this season hasn't uh, really matured into the champions league came from alborg during the summer as a replacement for stefan weilhorn uh, won a huge loss for this team who's gone to kiel Jim Gottfriedson just being announced, but uh, he won't play until the end of the year. He's got some problem with a bone in his foot. And he also was a big loss to this Flensburg team because he was wonderful for them last season. And uh, that coach, that genius coach, Jubo Vranjes, there he gets the biggest shout of the evening. Well, they're ready to go. Barcelona's second game on the bounce on the road. Uh, of course, they drew that game up in Colding. Final score of 27-27. And they'll be looking to put that right because uh, they probably feel they should have won that game. But it's going to be tough here tonight. Flensburg, current champions of the Velux EHF Champions League. Proud of uh, that champion status, and they will not want to let it uh, slide into ignominy. And uh, well, fanfare for common man. I mean, they're really, really pushing it to the limit now, keeping this crowd applauding, really drawing every sapping every ounce of energy out of everyone as we wait for their appearance. Well, I'll tell you. 
Whoever the DJ is, he's earning his money tonight. The smoke is rising. It's like a Pink Floyd concert in here, and still no sign of SG Flensburg Hannibal. Here they come, all in a row. They come dashing out of the, uh, the tunnel. So many names we know so well. Led out by Tobias Carlson. So important to them in that uh, centre of defence. Specialist defender beside him, Matthias Anderson, who also is vital to this team. Remember, uh, Soren Rasmussen is gone, as is uh, Mikkel Knudsen. And, uh, well, they are two big losses for the team as well. Replacement, uh, Zachariasen, is on the line. And uh, it's going to take him a little bit of time to... Uh, to really settle into this team. He's got three goals to his name so far. And uh, Heinel, Jakob Heinel, well, he's got uh, four goals. And there is the SG team as we move along. Thomas Mogensen just hiding behind Matthias Anderson there, not quite standing in the line. He's got 25 goals to his name. And then we move along the Barcelona team. Well, it's a who's who of uh, international handball. There's the young Miralis, uh, Gudion Valor beside him, Vail Jalouz, Karabatic, of course, we know so well, Trim the Beard, Gurbindo beside him, Arino, the left wing, and then uh, Lazarov, Samiento and uh, Antonios beside him. He's carrying a little bit of an injury. Teams uh, move along and just shake hands with each other. Coaches do the same. All the coaching squads and they're getting bigger and bigger by the year, aren't they? They've got all the physios, the assistant coaches, the officials, and uh, well, the players just. Uh, Swapping presence there. Interesting that uh, Flensburg playing at home tonight of only a 14-man squad, so Lubo must be uh, quite happy with uh, what he's got available. And uh, Barcelona, well, they've got a uh, 16-man squad, including that absolutely incredible Nikola Karabatic. And uh, the referees just go over to have a little word with the coaches. Say hello. Well, Hugo takes a little drink of water. He can do no more. I interviewed him last night about this team, and he said, you know, there's not so much time to do coaching that he spends a lot more time convincing these guys at Flensburg that they are the best. And he said, that's not always an easy thing to do. So it looks like all the handshakes are over and uh, everybody's ready to go. The crowd is uh, sitting back down again, which uh, clears my field of vision. And just Barcelona in a huddle away to our left. They finished and uh, difficult to see. It looks like it's going to be Flensburg starting in the attack. And therefore Barcelona in the, in the defense. Barcelona today playing in a kind of a well, my color uh, ideas are not fantastic, but it looks to me like a luminous orange. So luminous orange uh, top and shorts. And uh, SG Flensburg playing in that navy blue, but they have a special uh, Champions League jersey, jersey this year with uh, an orange trim. So that's how they're playing. And they're playing from right to left, and they are starting with the ball, and it is from the right wing. It's uh, Lasse uh, Svan, it's uh, Glandorf in the right back position. Then in the middle is Thomas Mogensen. And Nadic gets the nod in the left back position, he's playing very well. And then on the left wing, of course, Anders Egert, Mr. Penalty Specialist. And in the line is Jakob Final. And uh, Barcelona, for their part, uh, starting in defence. And it looks to me on the left wing, and Tredios inside him is, uh, no, it's uh, Gudion Valor on the left wing. He's just moving out there now. And Tredios inside him in number two center block of that French partnership which is Karabatic and Sorando, Vera Moros in the right back defensive position and then Victor Tomas in the right wing defense and it is Saric who gets the nod in goal and they've just asked uh, Matthias Anderson to change his jersey so he's gone to a black jersey because his jersey was obviously clashing with the Barcelona colors 
So there's uh, that's something for you. Maybe that was his warm up top, and he was always meant to wear the black. But we've a slight delay because of that. Uh, players are still the players are still uh, warming up. Uh, there's some words on the sideline, making sure everybody's ready to go. Referees have a little look at their watch. They're happy that everything is uh, prepared. Yubo has a last word with Matthias Anderson, and. Uh, well, they're still having a little word as we focus in on Glandorf there. So the game is on. Flensburg from right to left in the navy blue with the orange trim of this Group B game in the Velox CHF Champions League. And uh, immediately Mogensen is in the left-back position, but expect that switch uh, with Ninaric. Heinel uh, blocking between two and three in on the line there, and a big gap in the middle, but uh, now Heinel comes on the wraparound. Glandorf plays it easy to Mogensen. He's one-on-one to Rando, then back to Glandorf, and an easy shot parried over the bar by Saric, and Saric breaks it quickly, and on comes Lazarov in place of Viran. Uh, Victor Tomas goes to the far side, now Karabatic, Karabatic saved easily by Anderson. Two shots, a save each for the goalkeepers, they break quickly down the right side, now Nanadic into the line to Heinel. Heinel puts them up by one to nil in the blink of an eye. Only 51 seconds gone in the game and uh, that is how quick Flensburg is. They break so quickly, up goes Lazarov and Lazarov shows them and if they don't step out off that six metre line, to block him on nine, he's going to do that. They break quickly down the right side, but the ball is reversed over to Mogens and one on one with Vridan. Back to Glandorf. Glandorf drops the shoulder, goes through. Nothing says the referee, and Tredios breaks it down. The left side with Gudjon Valor, and now they slow it down. Now the ball goes all the way to Victor Tomas. He's on his own, and he hits the post. Well, a save each for the goalkeeper, a goal each for the teams, and a post each for both teams. <laughs> And only one minute 30 gone in the game, and it's one to one. And they slow it down ever so slightly, Flensburg. And Mogensen plays it to Eggert, and Eggert back to Mogensen, and they stay on this side. Viran Moros uh, keeping an eye on Heinel, now pushes him outside, and now Heinel makes that move on the wraparound. Ball back to Mogens with 25 goals, he's been solid for them this season. He goes again, but he's taken an extra step, and the referees called it. And it comes back to the nine meter line again. Heinel to Mogensen. Mogensen under arm, under arm, and saved by Saric. High it over the end line. Easy save. Bit of a rush shot from Mogensen there. Probably had time to play it again. 2 16 gone in the first half. And Barcelona. And uh, you wouldn't really think of this game as being something that uh, there was an awful lot riding on. All right, it's two points in the group, but there's uh, a little bit of bitter revenge in the air, and they've uh, started much quicker than this normally, Barcelona. Around goes Karabatic, foul by Heino. Nine, two minutes for Heino in the uh, competition already this season after four group games, and he gets his first caution of the game. Jakob Heinel, number 21, and it's uh, that kind of lazy style getting across and the arm across the neck, and he's got to be careful with that. Karabatic switches with Lazarov, reverse pass, tries to get it through to Sorano. He moves again, back to Karabatic, all alone, got to be a goal, it is a goal, and Barcelona take the lead 2-1. to one. So it's quite, uh, quite a low-key start from both teams. Uh, he, uh, it seems to look at that, what a, what a camera angle, and he... He's just so powerful, isn't he, when he does that windmill action and breaks through? And uh, as I said, very low-key when you think uh, of the, the kind of game it is. But uh, And Barcelona have been known to start very, very quickly in these games. They like to get a big lead very early on. But uh, this is uh, nice and easy. Does it? Oh, and it almost drops one. Then goes again back to Mogensen. He's nowhere to go. He plays it over to Glandorf. Long pass. They're going nowhere fast. Passive play called by the referee. The shot by Nanadic that's fouled in there. And it's going to be a caution against Sorando for a little shove on uh, Nanadic when Nanadic was going absolutely nowhere at all. Mogensen, Glandorf, oh, he's all alone, almost, he does get it in, hits the post, back out to Lasses Fan, scores! Two to two, and when the brakes go your way, they go your way, and Svan was uh, quick to react. 
And immediately, Gunion Baller coming through on this side. Tries to break through, and he can't do it. Well, Jakob Heinel managed to pluck that ball out of absolutely nowhere there and uh, went for the shot, hit the post again. Karabatic to Lazarov, Lazarov to Entredios. Worked the ball well, Sarando opened the shot. Entredios not at 100%, he's got a, carrying a little bit of an injury at the moment. And uh, goes for the shot there. Sarando might have been a uh, better place for the ball, but maybe he felt that he had the chance, couldn't get it then at the end. Crowd booing every single time. Karabatic gets the ball, there he goes again. Oh, and he took the extra little step, tried to get around, he's fouled. It's going to be a nine meter ball. And they call it again, and this time it's the overlap, and Gudjon goes back now, another switch, Lazarov to Entredios, he's one-on-one, -on -one, but he doesn't have the, uh, oh, he's fouled as he goes for the shot, super save by Anderson, but uh, didn't really have the uh, acceleration there in the legs to go through, decided not to bother, went for the shot, saved, but he was fouled on the way through, and they started again. Now Karabatic in the left back to Entredios, the ball is moving quickly, the hand is up for pass of play, easy save, Anderson weren't going anywhere, Sarando blocks the first pass to Nadic, but then moves back and Nadic drops it again, second time, manages to recover, lovely ball out, stolen by Victor Tomas, super defending, down low to his right, picks the ball up and they break again, and Karabatic, what did he do, he goes on his own, and he scores, no one stepping out again on the Flensburg defence, and he gives him a 3-2 lead. And we see it again from this angle. Look, looked like he took steps there. That was uh, very strange looking. I, I had that initial reaction when I was watching the game. And uh, I haven't changed my opinion after seeing that. Nenadic, shot is blocked. Saric looks and there's nobody gone. Nobody gone at all now. Gudion Valor with the ball. He, uh, Victor Tomas over that side. And Tredios now into Sarando. And he makes the goal out of absolutely nothing. Two men hanging out of him. One of them was uh, Mogensen. And the referee is, well, you see what he does there. He's hanging on for dear life. But actually, he lets him go. My initial reaction was it was an attitude done something there. But uh, Mogensen's the guy who comes away with the warning. And they're up 4-2. Perhaps that goal by uh, Karabatic didn't count after all. Maybe he did travel. Uh, Mogensen, have to see it again. Tries to go past Rando. Up goes Glandorf. And Glandorf bullets it. Hits in the bottom corner. One pass, one step. Glandorf, one shot, one goal. Well, he hasn't got the best of percentages today. But uh, that was uh, seriously into the bottom corner. And after 7 minutes, 20 seconds... Seven goals scored in the game. Lazarov, oh, he was at 10 metres there. In off the post, off the back of Matthias Anderson. And they take the lead again. Heinel scores! And just trying to keep up with the scoring in this game. So, so quick on the counter-attack, Jakob Heinel. Well, I wrote about him in the blog and said he really hasn't been doing it, but uh, he's been doing it today, Jakob Heinel. He's got two goals from three. That's half of what he's managed in uh, all the games uh, thus far this season in the Champions League. Karabatic, Lazarov at 10 again. Oh, hits the post, bounces out to Victor Tomas. He's all alone. No problem for Victor Tomas. And uh, someone's being called back by the referee. It is Carlsen, and Carlsen gets... Uh, a warning, third warning for the Flensburg team. Great reactions, look at this. Victor Tomas was on his way back, reacts quicker than the Nadic, and then if you're gonna be shooting from that angle, the goalkeeper really should have no chance whatsoever, and it's six to four, Barcelona with a two goal lead. They do this in games, they take leads in the first half, but the game is being played in a very nice way today, I have to say. No major tough man fouling, you might say. Game being allowed to flow by the referees and the players alike. Glandorf, lovely Glandorf, saved by Sadic. Brilliant. No fouls as the referee ball breaks and it's Karabatic. What does he do? Plays it to Gudjon Valor. Back to Karabatic. The shot. 
in, he turns his body so well, and it's a three goal lead, and they break again. Mogensen has to beat his own player to get past the halfway line. Does so, then slows it down. No chance for Heinel to get this ball. And it's a three goal lead for Barcelona. <coughs> Pardon me. Lovely pass, lovely pass, lovely spin. Oh, wonderful, so simple. Mogensen contra pass in an adage. He doesn't wait, soft hands out to Eggert. And no chance for Richter Tomas, no chance for Saric. How does Eggert do it? He's just got all the tricks, doesn't he? And that little spinner gives them a, only a two goal deficit now after almost 10 minutes of the first half. It's Veloxia Jeff Champions League, it's match of the week. Oh, beautiful pass, he's inside. Ball, Anderson, <coughs> pardon me, Nenadic. Well, he goes alone, basketball style, but he plays it to Glandorf. Quick long pass across to Mogensen. Mogensen can't go through. Final blocking wrong side. Nenadic all the way out to Lassa, but it slows down. Great defending from Barcelona to make sure they couldn't play it. Three on two on this near side with Victor Tomas and Viran Moros again. Steps in, Ferdios on the long pass, Glandorf doesn't move, now Mogensen, now little ball around the corner, but it doesn't work out, Victor misses it, out to Eggert again, the lob, the score! Seven to six, and Victor missed it by centimetres, and that's how these guys punish you, ball around the back to Gudjon, Gudjon, save Matthias, but the rebound goes Barcelona's way, all the way out to Victor Tomas, this time scores again! And Nenadic is asleep, and Matthias Anderson is having a little word in his shell, like telling him that he's got to wake up out there, because Victor's reacting to everything, and, and Nenadic, well, he, he sort of thought, okay, the attack is over. Here's that goal again from Eggert. Wonderful goal. So one spin, one lob. <clears throat> Eggert is just on fire these days, isn't he? Two from two, and coming into this game, well, he's got about 14 goals, I think. So Mogensen again to Nenadic, to Glandorf. Heinel on the far side this time. Now the long pass, Mogensen, Mogensen against Vienan. That's got to be something more than just a free. It's two minutes to uh, Viran Moros for what can only be described as a rugby tackle as he tries to haul the jersey off of uh, Mogensen. Mogensen, to his credit, kept going. So we have a two-minute suspension. That's a power play then for... Flensburg and a penalty, which Eggert will take. Oh! Well, what do you say about the little man? He's got nerves of steel. <coughs> well, that is just, that is just daring. And the smile says it all. He plays with a smile on his face. He's a funny guy as well. Three from three, 100%. One goal lead for Barcelona was three at one stage. Now the double switch, which they like to play when they're a player down. Karabatic goes again, foul, pushed into the hoarding by the little man. But uh, Karo was just wasting a little bit of time there, I think. And uh, Gudjon and Victor go back to their wing positions again and expect the double switch once more. No, this time it's an overlap. Now Victor to Karabatic to Lazarov. Now the block, but uh, he plays it back to Lazarov again, who's up and he's fouled. No, it's just the referee. He's down. And. Uh, they want more in the uh, in the crowd here. They think that uh, Lazarov didn't put the ball down on the ground. I think he was quite unlucky to be called there. He was obviously going for the foul. The referees weren't playing it. And uh, Flensburg have the ball again. <coughs> and uh, Xavi Pascual is having serious words to the referee, saying, what's that all about? Glandorf, one step, save. Rebound, out to Lassa, Lassa, scores! And Gudjon did everything he could. But he couldn't win the ball, and he couldn't stop Lassa's fan. There's the shot, there's the save. And he's just bundled out of the way by Lassa's fan. And, uh, well, whatever Victor can do at one end, he can do at the other. And it's an even Stevens at eight. Three goals for Eggert, uh, two for Lassa's fan now, two for Jakob Heinel. He's been quiet since those early uh, seven minutes or so, and they're still down a player. Barcelona, still the power play to Flensburg, and Tredios, where's he going? He's going outside, hold down by Lassus Van, and uh, it's going to be Barcelona's ball at the nine-meter line, but they're back up, and Sarando is back on. 
So Viran Moros's two minute suspension uh, hasn't been kind to Barcelona. They've just taken their foot off the gas ever so slightly. And uh, well, my feeling is that uh, Flensburg will enjoy this pace of game because they'll have it in the last 20 minutes to run it. Maybe Barcelona need to uh, step on the gas a bit more. Mogensen, save, rebound, rebound. It's going to be a corner, says the referee. And Egert goes out to take it. Uh, Victor Tomas really reacting well today, the captain of Barcelona. And the ball to Mogensen into Nenadic again. And they'll do the exact same line switch and Mogensen to come into the centre. No, they go for maybe the quick switch now. Mogensen back to Nenadic. Now it's open in the middle. But Karabatic looked like he wanted to do something. The ball gets all the way to Lassa. That's a great save by Saric. Absolutely wonderful. Made himself big. Lazarov to Victor Tomas, ball to Entrerios, Entrerios behind the back to Serrando, who's being fouled, what a nice little, nice little half splits there from Anderson to save it. Eight to eight, the game just starting to sizzle, just starting to sizzle. If you've just joined us, it's match of the week, it's live from the Flens Arena in Germany, Flensburg hand of it against FC Barcelona, and the score is eight to eight, Barcelona playing at that kind of Orange, pink, who knows. Uh, from left to right, and uh, Flensburg in the navy blue with the orange trim. Very slow, that's beautiful! He's hit the post, hit the post, and he was wide open. That was a super move. Glandorf scores! The lead for Flensburg in the game. Nice ball again, Victor Tomas, and it's a penalty this time against Carlson. Same movement, a little bit further over from Victor Tomas this time. Look at this from Glandorf. Well, how often does he do it? I mean, he must be, he's got every kind of strapping known to man holding him together, and he can still score goals like that. 9 8, and Lazarov does the little Lazarov jink as he comes up. Left foot, right foot, there's the first bit. Now plants the wrong foot, then plants the right foot. Anderson facing him, fakes him once, scores the goal, and it's a nine evens game. And look at this again, no chance, the standing leg rooted to the spot, and that's exactly where Lazarov puts it. Three from five at 60%. Well, they've, uh, Flensburg have had 18 shots in total and only scored nine. Barcelona have had 17 shots and only scored nine, so uh, <laughs> the ref. The goalkeepers are doing wonderfully well in percentages, 44% for um, for Saric, and strangely only 25% for Anderson, but he's saved so many balls. So, 9 meter ball again. Mogensen and that exchange it again. It's uh, all very samey, samey from Flensburg, but it's effective. And here comes uh, Glandorf now, waits from look at that, blocked. They were waiting for him, they knew he was coming. Off the ball on the run, all the way across to the left back position. And they just stuck up, I think it was Jesper Nodisbo who's in there in the defense now. Uh, just stuck up two big arms and blocked it away. Now, ball, Lassa, Lassa scores up from a zero angle. Unbelievable, unbelievable how he does it. He doesn't maybe have the tricks of Eggert. Lovely ball into Nolusbo. Now ball to Lazarov. That was soft hands for Intredios. And a beautiful goal. Heinel's down on his backside. Just getting up now. But look again, Nolusbo. Soft hands from Intredios. No chance, Eggert. No chance, Anderson. And it's a goal for tens. But look at this. Lassus, man. That is absolutely wonderful. Very little angle to uh, shoot it at, and he manages uh, to score it. Now, Barcelona are making some changes in there on their team, and uh, Flensburg, well, they haven't made any changes, but it's walking pace at the moment for them. They don't maybe have to make any changes. Now it's super, save, nothing says the referee. Well, you can't have it both ways. The fans wanted the free, but he had the open shot. Now Karabatic, save! Sigurdsson, two minutes, it's two minutes, it's Mogensen. Well, he was already on a, he was already on a caution. And, uh, well, the referee, there's the push. It was Heino, 
but it's uh, Mogensen somehow. What does Mogensen do? Well, here's an adage, free. 100% shot, no problem. Now, Mogensen, on the other hand, is after going to get two-minute suspension. And, well, I actually didn't see what happened. It looked like it was uh, Heinel had uh, pushed Karabatic finally. But something must have happened in the centre, and the referee called a penalty, and a two-minute suspension on Thomas Mogensen. Up says Kirill, fakes him once. Oh, it's hit it on a post! Nanadic knocks it back in, play on, says the referee. Well, that time Nanadic was away, and it hits the post. The post is Flensburg's friend tonight. And the fans are on their feet. Power play for Barcelona, and only 1.34 left in it. Amazing the amount of time you can waste if you just take your time. Barcelona defence moving in, covering that centre. It's very, very tight in there. Flensburg tried to make it bigger now. Lassa makes the move in. Saric uh, saves it. Rebounds out to Eggert. Eggert, uh, Mogensen, and they slow it again. 1-12 left on the power play. Nenadic, Lassa still in there. One-on-one, -on -one, Mogensen with Viran. Viran holds him up, good defending. And uh, they waste another couple of valuable seconds and still no passive play because they're making an attempt to score a goal. Now the hand will go up very soon. There it goes. Mogensen all alone. Save Saric. Wonderful save, Saric, but straight at him, but he still had to react. Mogensen in at the six-meter line. Look at this. Goes past Viran as if he's not there. And then the shot and the save by Saric. And Saric is absolutely, well, he's on 50%. 10 saves out of 20. Can he keep that up for the game? Now, Barcelona, the man advantage, ball out to Victor Tomas. Victor Tomas buries it near post past Anderson, and it was two passes, and Barcelona made a count. Look at that reverse pass from Kiri Lazarov to uh, Victor Tomas, and he's just got to wait, and there it is. The gap opens up, no chance, Anderson. Lovely technique, lovely goal. And they do it again, over that side, Mogensen and Eggert just keeping it tight, keeping it real, and they've wasted the two minutes, only one goal scored, and on comes Zachariasen on the line in place of Jakob Heinel, and they go immediately for the line switch. Now Mogensen, ball out to Nanadic, back to Mogensen, to Glandorf outside, but held up by Jesper Notisbo, he was going nowhere fast there. Dropped the shoulder, tried to go outside him. There wasn't even a ball on to Lassus fan because Goodjohn had him covered. Now ball out to Egger. Oh, the man's a genius. Well, Saric just opened the legs for a split second and suddenly that's where the ball was. I don't know whether he's got a Hawkeye, whether he's got a radar, what he's got, but somehow he manages to find a gap every single time and score. Danny Sarmiento won in place of Entrerios in the centre. Danny's been uh, very good, I have to say, in the matches so far in the Champions League. And Karabatic, well, there's actually a wall of silence that creates every single goal that uh, Barcelona score. I did see one Barcelona fan here, a young lady who'd made her way all the way over, saved by Saric. Near post, he stood tall, he's waiting, he's looking, and he finds Danny. And Gudjon, who hasn't had a sniff of a fast break today, ball into Jesper. Jesper goes for the lob, saved by Anderson. I think Jesper wanted a bit of a foul in there. He wasn't going to get it. Well, the timeout is called by the Flensburg coach, uh, Ljubo Vranjes, and it's not the amount of saves you make, it's when you make them, and they really look at that. How high was his leg there? He's not that tall, but it was high enough. And there you see it again, wonderful save. And Jesper wanted more. Ich möchte Juge. Juge, normal Juge. Du kommst jetzt in drei, vier. Okay. Gehst du hier hin?
Well, uh, Lyubos had his words uh, for his first time out of the game, and I was, uh, yeah. Lars Kaufman's new hairdo makes an appearance in the game. And, uh, well, we've uh, been watching Jesper Nodelsberg grow his hair for a long time in the uh, Barcelona colours, and he, he comes on the court with a kind of a bun on the back of his head. Well, his bun is bigger than Lars Kaufman's bun. I mean, Lars, what are you doing? It's unbelievable. Unglaublich. So there he is, Lars Kaufman. Let's see, can he add a few more goals to his tally? Uh, he's got five thus far in the Champions League. And uh, I think with that hairdo, he's going to have to score. Look at Glandorfer, he goes, no, back to Kaufman. Kaufman, a beautiful pass! He's missed a sitter! Oh, he's missed an absolute sitter there, Mogensen. Set up by Glandorfer and Kaufman. Well, I don't know what Lubo said to him there, maybe next time, but uh, that was a terrible miss. And in the meantime, the referees have a little word with Zachariasen and uh, Jesper Nodesbo and ask them to just calm it down. Zachariasen from Denmark, Anders and uh, Jesper, well, you guessed it, from Denmark too. And they're having a little shoving match in there. Quite a high defensive line from uh, from Flensburg at the moment. Ah, oh, great shot, great save. Out it comes. Oh, he's been hit in the face. He goes down. Referees let play go on. He's watching. Lars Kaufmann all the way out to Eggert. Eggert plays it back now. The clock has stopped. And uh, I think it was accidental. But Carlson obviously knew something had happened because he waited. Great save, Anderson. Ball is coming out. Oh, he goes. We. Oh, I think there's a little elbow there. I mean, it's minuscule, but it's uh, maybe. Yeah, he. I don't think he goes for the elbow, but he definitely goes to nudge him off the ball. But I think he knows he's caught him because Carlson stayed beside Victor Tomas, and Victor Tomas is not the kind of guy to lie down on the ground if he hasn't had a little bang. And uh, <laughs> how many fingers am I holding up, Victor? Well, we shouldn't be joking about it. He looks, uh, whew, he looks a little winded. And uh, like I said, Sauwich Mir is uh, not here today to play in the right wing. They have Mirales. And Guero Miguel, uh, Mirales, 24 years of age, 186, hasn't scored in the Champions League yet. Look at that man. Uh, Daniel Saric is on 52% save. They need to keep it at that. But the defense of Barcelona today has been big, has been strong, hasn't really given major openings to the Flensburg team. And Saric has been able to mop up whatever they can shoot. Now Mogensen, now Lars Kaufman, now back to Mogensen, but going nowhere. Now back to Kaufman again. Kaufman bounces, looks for the switch, gets the switch. Glandorf! Well, top corner, how does he do it? Time after time after time. It's going nowhere, and look at this, out of absolutely nothing, no chance Saric. He's really grasping a thin air there to try and claw that ball out. But he's just nowhere near it. He posts the letter between crossbar and post on the, the goalkeeper's right-hand side. And it's evens at 12 again. Lazarov, Karabat, it's safe. But the ball comes over the sideline. It's going to be a Barcelona ball. And Matthias Anderson, well, like I said, he's not at the same percentages. But the saves he's making are really, really top class. Top class. Lazarov. 10 metres again, doesn't fancy his chances. Disco Dani back to Karabatic. He goes alone, he's fouled, and down he goes. And Tobias Carlson has uh, Karabatic in his pocket at the moment. Floor wipers are called on. Anders Eggert on four, Kiri Lazarov on four for Barcelona. Nikola Karabatic on four for Barcelona. Are the top scorers in the game. Here it is again. Super save, that. look at that angle. And then he tries to go past him, and Carlson holds him up. No chance to turn that body. One of uh, Karabatic's favorite moves. No chance to turn the body. And a great defending there from Carlson. One on one with one of the best attackers in the world. Easy. Ah, oh, easy. Well, it was far too easy. Zachariasen and uh, Carlson were rooted to the six meter. The ball breaks. Lars Kaufmann. Oh, back to Glandorf again. Glandorf, one step, one shot. Oh, well. Well, he got away with that there. But I think Saric got away with it too. He was expecting a shot to his near post, left-handed, and somehow the ball, just the way he was hit. And I think uh, Sorando does nothing there. I mean, Glandorf goes down, but I don't think he does anything to him. Well, the referees call it. 24 minutes, 40 seconds gone of the game, and Barcelona lead it by one. Slow paced at times, and then the injection of pace gives it that little bit of uh, 
that little bit of sizzle, as I said. Mogensen, Kaufman, Kaufman saved. Referee calls it. Goalkeeper's ball, another save on the account of uh, Saric. And he's up to 12 from 25. Sorry, he's up to 13 from 25. Lazarov, ah, oh, super goal. Absolutely super goal. He just looks like he's got so much time when he's in the air. And he can just decide where he wants to put it. Oh, Mogensen breaks through. Nothing says the referee, it's going to be nine metres. He just decides where he's going to put it. And that time, it wasn't a full-fledged shot into the top corner. It was a bouncer that the, uh, the goalkeeper's got no chance to save. And we see again Mogensen trying to break past Virnan. Virnan goes down, but the free is given to uh, Mogensen. Nothing, says the referee, except a nine-meter ball, and we look at it again. As this song that uh, seems to get played a lot up here in Santiago reverberates around the uh, around the arena. So they started again. Mogensen now uh, with the switch off the ball with Glandorf, takes it, plays it to uh, Kaufman, Kaufman to Mogensen, blocked by Zachariasen, hits the crossbar this time, the jump is up, it's Mogensen, plucks it out of the air, yes, Bernardo Bo hauls him down, ball across to Kaufman, BASS ONE! Well, it was a standing shot. It was like a bazooka. Here's the shot. One step, 10 metres. Well, I think Saric was almost blown into the goal by the force of that one. The gale that followed it. And it's a one-goal game. Yes, Bernardo's bowl. Lazarov. Oh, well, Victor Tomas is down again. Now, the referee calls it this time. He says nothing. Absolutely nothing. Floor wipers are called on. Victor's saying he got an elbow. Referee is saying, I didn't see it. Therefore, it didn't happen. Look at this standing shot. Oh, well. That's power. Well, maybe he's like uh, Samson with the hair, you know? Don't cut it. Power stays. Danny tries to go through. Referee calls a penalty. Well, Glandorf is defending at least a meter inside the six meter line. He's holding on to Danny. Danny's feet are too quick for him. And uh, Glandorf can't react, can't get out of the way, moves back in with him, blocks the shot. Have a little look at this. Yeah. And the push from uh, Carlson to boot. And it's as clear a penalty as you're going to see. And Lazarov steps forward, does the little shuffle, and then he's ready. Fakes one, last one hit the post, this one doesn't. In it goes for a two-goal lead for Barcelona. And once again, silence greets the goal. Well, you have to wonder about the psychology of this situation. Um, Flensburg know that even six goals down, they can take this team, but that was with the team of last year. They really miss Weinhold, they really miss Knutsen. But uh, from what I've seen of Heinel today, He's done okay. Uh, we haven't seen uh, Jakobsen yet in the right back position, but uh, Kaufman's a welcome addition back this season. Ball to Mogensen. How on earth did he do that? Zachariasen's down in a heap. Manages to get himself back up again. Ball is already broken. Two. La to Danny. It was from Karabatic. Now Lazarov, and he's held up. And uh, two minutes, ten seconds gone, and you might see the timeout card coming on the table. Now Zachariasen, look at this. Over the shoulder, well, is Mogensen inside? He might have been on his tippy toes, might have just gotten away with that one. Danny, Danny to Karabatic, he's been quiet since the opening 10 minutes of the game. And uh, Lazarov again, ball to notice, ball's gonna be a penalty, has to be. Clear as uh, Crystal, Lars Kaufman defending inside, great blocking, look at this, yes, for notice, ball. super. No chance to turn and shoot, Lars is, uh, well, he's setting up shop one metre inside the six metre line, and that is a penalty. And forward steps Lazarov to a chorus of boos from the crowd. Save Anderson! Keeps it at one goal. He might only be on 32%. Uh, I say only because uh, Saric is on 48%. But they've been vital, vital.
And that's another one in the penalty book. One minute remaining. Flensburg ball. Barcelona just hanging back there, just inside that nine meter line. They're happy to go one against one if they have to. Kaufman, well, what's Kaufman done here? He's gone alone up to Glandorf. Save! No! Score! It's a goal! And they break it quickly, Barcelona. 30 seconds remaining, and it's a timeout call by Barcelona with the score tied at 15. And every time. Oh, Saric, Saric, almost. No! Just doesn't keep it out. And how does Glandorf do it time and time again? He really is the sniper. Let's hear what the coaches have to say. Pero con seguridad, con seguridad. Y el ataque no tiene que ser al llegar. Calma, cinco, seis pases. Claro, joder. Y luego jugamos todo. Vale, a ver. Si nos cambia y nos mete al 5-1, ¿qué? Si nos mete al 5-1 con Nenadich, pasa extremo derecho para que bajen y vamos a jugar aquí el 2 contra 2 para que Jesper vaya con Eger. Y a partir de aquí jugamos, ¿de acuerdo? Venga, vamos. Una cosa, eh. Si defendemos, atentos a los flies, extremo, extremo. Well, the referees have blown the whistle for the timeout to end, and Barcelona are really uh, milking every second. And uh, I, I couldn't hear what the, uh, what the coaches were saying, but I was watching uh, Rudenka, and he was absolutely chomping at the bit to be called into this game. Chomping at the bit. Haven't seen him yet. Uh, Karabatic holds uh, his position in the left back. Danny in the center, and Lazarov in the right back. Well, he's some secret weapon to be able to bring on, isn't he? Victor goes in on the other side. He's held up by Lars Kaufman. Now Lazarov, now Danny! Great goal! Simple goal! The Flensburg defense, well, they were brought hither and yon. No chance in the end. And now Mogensen, Mogensen to Nanadic. Nanadic, Glandorf scores! Oh, no hell on earth! Does Glandorf do it? They must be sick of the sight of him in Barcelona because he comes up for goal after goal when he shouldn't be able to. And that was uh, no exception there at the end of the half. Barcelona score a beautiful team goal and suddenly they just give the ball to the left arm wonder. And uh, well, he bullets another one into the top corner. Absolutely no chance for Saric again. And they really have to, they really have to uh, stop that movement from Glandorf. They really got to get out early and block him because he is tearing them apart with the shots from the right back of the court. He's on five. Okay, he's had 12 shots, but there were five really good goals and really important goals to Flensburg. Score at the end of the first half, 16 to 16. Not exactly snail's pace, but certainly not championship pace at the moment. Let's hope for even more spectacular goals, spectacular saves and action in the second half. Stay with us.